program still this one on independent television. Yes, we've got Dr. Uh, Bishop Akhalame, and of course, uh, he's the current chairman of Labour Senate Party in Edo State. One time uh, aspirant, governorship aspirant, and of course, one time governorship candidate of uh, a political party in Edo State. You're welcome to this program this morning on RTV. Yeah, good morning. Now, the 2021 electoral amendment bill is taking its toll on um, you know, people people discussing it here and there and as we speak we understand that uh, today the senate is going to be meeting and uh, if anything goes by by the arrangements uh, the president's position may just be vetoed by the way the president has rejected a bill uh, you know citing uh, costs uh, you know implications and of course security implications now doctor let's get your thoughts uh, what do you think is playing out you know as it relates to this electoral amendment bill uh, with the senators uh, with the president himself and of course with the governors thank you very much you know um, we have uh, we have really overflogged this issue you know for a very long time now even before uh, the the president declined his asset to the B, and uh, I can tell you that um, in different um, interviews I have said that uh, Mr. President will not accept to the B. You predicted that. I I know, I know he will not accept to the B. <clears throat> now, the members of uh, the, the the members of the National Super Assembly, I can tell you that. Uh, they are, they are causing confusion everywhere. They are the cause of what we are having today. They cause this confusion. How do you mean? Where this issue started, if you look at the clause in the electoral B, in the electoral Arts, hmm. section 52, they said that they will not accept the electronic transmission of results from units. When a lot of people now came out to argue it, public opinion, public outcry, people will now say, no, this must not happen. Why must the National Assembly say, the members of the National Assembly say that elections should not be transmitted uh, electronically? That means they have issues. They have things they've not discussed with us. Then they have to backpedal. that. In doing that, they quickly reported another clause into the electoral act. Which, which uh, clause are talking about? Section 87, mm. which gives political parties the power to decide the mode of primary to be adopted in an election. Now, Bishop, we know that uh, the bill that the president has rejected, uh, there are two main issues there. Uh, the transference of uh, the results electronically and, of course, uh, the uh, issue that has to do with allowing political parties to do their primaries uh, directly. So are we saying that this bill now, which the president has refused now, uh, does not, the, the, the senators did not say that, okay, let uh, the result be, 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 be transferred electronically. Is that what you're saying? No. Um, the, the issue, the issue, the, uh, you know, before, nobody's, I'm not happy too that the Mr. President declined access to the uh, the ODB. Yeah. But uh, the, I, quite, uh, I quite agree with the reasons given by Mr. President. They are tenable. When I look at the reasons, I'm in the same page with Mr. President. That is what I would do if I'm, if I'm supposed to be in the shoe of Mr. President. What did he do? What did he give all these reasons? He said, I declared asset to the B because of three factors and first consequences that Nigeria may face. He said, one, political factor. He said, two, moral factor. He said, three, he said, constitutional factor. They said, what are the, he said, what are the consequences? He said, one, he said, financial consequence, economic consequence, legal consequence, and security what consequence. So these are the background, these are the 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 reasons why Mr. President had to declare assets. You know why I say I concur with him? If you look at the the direct mode of primary election that the National Assembly imported into the arts 
they, they are opposing it for political parties. And it's a kind of unsolicited uh, interference into the functions and functionalities of political parties. And Mr. President, in his split wisdom, he said, I don't want issues of litigations after the general elections, which many political parties were waiting for. Even my party, too, were waiting. Now, Bishop, uh, the, you see, some of the questions that, uh, you know, political uh, discussants are asking uh, is that it appears Mr. President is trying to do the job of thinking uh, the bill all over again. Now, remember, we had various uh, committees that were set up in the two chambers, uh, the national, in the House of Representatives, and of course the Senate. Now, these various committees, they were asked to go and look at word for word uh, you know, the composition of this uh, bill. And they came, after it all, they still came up with this bill. So if at this stage now, uh, Mr. President uh, tend to now be g doing the thinking all over again. Some people say that it is not at this stage anymore. We, would have, we, wish we had passed this stage. That's what we're saying. Uh, that, that, that's not correct. If you go to our Constitution, Section 58, Subsection 4 of the Constitution, give Mr. President, President power to either accept a bill or decline within 30 days of transmission from the National Assembly. So if Mr. President, after consultation, which I know he did, I'm aware, and you're also aware, that he wrote to INEC, he said, I've asked me on the direct primary election. I think there are other issues in that uh, bill that we love so much that, uh, that actually make you not to be happy that uh, he did not accept to it. And I'm not saying that Mr. President is not saying he's not going to accept to it. There are some people today who are in the National Assembly, senators, as of who put gun on people's head, and they are there. And the act have been able to address all these things. Intimidation. We talk about all those uh, today. If you look at what is happening, what happened in Anabar State, if you carry about box now, you say what will wrong. It's as if that is a cake method of uh, rigging an election because that is not that is not a guy in book. I make a take care of that. These are the things that are already in the electoral act that uh, Mr. President, if you are said to we have uh, um, uh, a good uh, 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 electoral process. Now, Bishop, but, but the issue, the issue that is there is that he said the National Assembly should look at the clause of direct primaries. He said it is not good in the spirit of democracy to impose direct primary election of political parties. And I listened to him. He said for that. Now, when you say impose, I think we need to be very careful because uh, this bill is not something that just emanated from the blues. I mean, it came as a product of uh, the National Assembly. And people say that members of the National Assembly are core representatives of uh, the people. So if members of the National Assembly says anything, it's more or less like the people that are saying the thing. Well, I, like I told you before, it is the exclusive right of political parties. For the matter, that's why I said, we talk about the constitutional factor. If you are doing that, you are crouching on the right of choice of political parties. Now, are we now saying that the National Assembly does not have the right to review our constitution? We are, not saying, so we're saying. We are not saying they don't have right to review the constitution. Mm. When we talk like this, there is some exception to what they can do. You have seen that? There are, there, are, there are rights spelled out by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as regards the rights of citizens and organizations and association. So when you are trying to encroach on those rights, what you are doing is that you are creating a constitutional problem. So Mr. President said, look at the bill again. Do something about the clause, which is section 87 That's of the, the act. The direct primary. The direct primary. They return the bill back to me. But if, for, if, for, if, for, you for remove, if you remove the direct primary clause, then of course the bill is, is dead. I mean, uh, for most people, that no, is, no, that, no, it is, no, it is no. that clause. No, let me, it is let that me, clause. No, let me, that they, no, they, no. They are, they are let me, let me, let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I am a politician. And a politician, a former Godoshi Kaide, twice in this state and a state chairman of a political party. This is my feed. Let me tell you something. Let me quote my boss, 
Barrister Dan Wanyangu, which is my national chairman of the Zenith Labour Party. He said, and I quote, the direct primary looked very good on face value, prima facie. But in this part of this world, it doesn't look the way we see it. And the father said that the direct primary election is a fraud. Then he gave some breezes where he said, the direct power election is a fraud. In 2018, in Lagos State Governorship election, the Lagos decided the Lagos APC adopted the direct primary mode of what uh, uh, election. The governor now in Lagos State Governor Sholu, in the primary election, he scored 970,000 votes. Then, Governor Abode scored 72,000 votes. Put the two together, you know what you're having. But in the general election, the governor of the state now, Governor Soro, scored about 739,000 votes. Now, you will not ask yourself the question, what are the remaining 300,000 APC members oh, do who, voted, who voted during the election. Mm -hmm. So he now said, it's possible that that, party, that party, political party is doing the prior election, that he says it's a fraud, can even mobilize some members of other political parties to vote in the prior election so that their candidate or their choice can emerge as a candidate. We see this fraud. Then he went back again to Gaduja in Kano State. When well, during the direct primary election in Kano State, Gadu just scored about 2.4 million votes. But in the election, in the election, he scored about 1.4 million. So what are the many, uh, almost 600, uh, 700 uh, 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 APC members that voted for him well, during uh, uh, the uh, no, election? No, but that, that's not a nice argument. Because no, 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 it's, no, no, it's it, possible that wait, you know I, what happens see, during see, the election, no, election, let me tell, the election, let, the election, let, the party let me, and let all that. Let me tell you something. But, 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 Bishop, there's something that I want us to talk about here this morning. Mm. Now, you talked about, uh, of course, you raised concern and uh, you support the, the presidents for giving reasons, yes. uh, political reasons. Uh, security reason, cost uh, reason, and yeah. all that. But let's look at the security reason. Because for most people, mm -hmm. uh, it appears to them that uh, uh, the president is really not taking a toll on insecurity in the country. Now, if you are saying that because of the I I insecurity, you cannot uh, support direct primaries. Now, what is the guarantee that by 2023, that uh, the, the security uh, situation will improve more than the way it is now? Well, you need to understand, so people understand Mr. President's position on this issue when you talk about security. He said the security agencies will be overstretched. Isn't the same way you, you hold the general election? In every unit, if you are, you are holding a direct primary, in every unit you are having an election. Don't the same way you will be having the general what, election. So in all of this, we are duplicating efforts. But don't forget, the same manpower. The same map power that you require in the general election, you may require them in, in the what in the, in the, in the direct what come election. That means ILEC have to increase their map power to monitor such election across the unit awards. Then the commissioner of police in each of the states have to deploy, have to increase their personnel. The security agencies have to increase their personnel that will mark this unit and wards to ensure security. And we don't do all those things with ordinary hands. It takes money. Mm. The security will be overstretched. That's what Mr. President is trying to say. But I have expected that uh, you allow the security agencies to do the complaint themselves. No, no, uh, no, no, no. See, you know, no, you know. see, see, see uh, Evers, yeah. let's look at this issue very well so that those who are listening to us, they can learn one or two things. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mr. President started a lot of reasons. Mm. And this reasons, I want people to understand that Mr. President 
I'm not holding but, 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 but I'm not holding I'm not holding I'm not holding I understand I understand I understand what you're saying and of course a lot of Nigerians out there they are they are also they've read what the reasons that Mr. President gave but for them those reasons are not just cogent enough I mean they cannot stand uh, the benefits of direct entry uh, that, that, is why, that is why that is why that is why that is why direct primary that is why is the most democratic uh, you know way of choosing that, that is how you see that is how you see it that's why, you see, that's why you now call people like us to explain, to make sense of all this. Anyway, so, 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 that, so that people who are listening to us, you know, you, if, you don't want to, if you don't allow me to talk, people don't understand what we are doing here. Mm. There's, no need for me, there's no need for me to explain to you so that you understand what all this is all about. Bishop, you, 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 you just said something. You, 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 you just said something that the direct primary election uh, is uh, look uh, more democratic. It's more involving. But I've told you the fraud association with it and the cost implication. Don't forget, the INEC just gave a budget to the federal government what they need to conduct the 2023 general election at about 305 billion euro. Do you think that that's what will be replicated? Do be replicated if they want to hold that the election? That may not be a bishop. That, that may not be. You, you they, cannot they, say. They, 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 you also cannot also say. Let me say uh, something. Because we understand that the direct primary is, is, not as, is not as huge, it's not as large as the election itself. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about just a political party, unlike the general election. You, you, uh, so you, 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 you That is why you need to listen to me. Who is the figure? You, also, you also need to listen uh, to me, too. Uh, because because when, 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 you, when you talk about the direct election, mm. we're talking about the political the, the, the party, the yes. election in the Party. Yes, yes. Then, of course, the general election, the election yes. as, as it involves all political parties. No, it's so, the same thing. so you cannot use, you cannot say because the election in general, the, the, the general election is expensive, you can't use that to equate, uh, you know, let me, the election let me, in let me, let, me, let me tell you something. You just said something. Yeah. You said the day of the general election, all the political parties will come out to vote, is it not? Mm -hmm. They participate. Yeah. But the primary election, the primary election, and don't forget that this is you are seeing, is one day. It's what maybe they do. It maybe governor, uh, maybe uh, it I, I, may not be you, for you, political parties you wait now. now. Sure. You wait yeah. now. Mm. <laughs> we don't have to be You are asking a question. You are debating. Yeah, but but, but we need to. You, you so wait. We don't, are you yeah. if you are you don't, I will not be able to flow very well. Yeah, uh, you are yeah. me. Yeah, just go on. Now listen. If you are holding the primary election mm. for political parties, mm. the Labour Party may write to INEC. So we are holding a primary election on the second of January. I never could get prepared to monitor our election throughout the states, in all the units of the states, with their map power and security will be there. I remember in our last election, the police that we were in our center, we did direct mode of power. They were, they were up to 400. Let to know when we are now holding our power election all over the state. That will be taking place in each of the units. It may not that be means all. It may not be all of us. You, uh, you, you, you cannot say that. You cannot say. You cannot, you cannot say that. Say, you, you cannot say that. They, they may stagger that, the that, election. That, you, you, wait be, now. Uh, you, you wait now. Yeah. Uh, you cannot assume that. Mm. I, I will tell you, you, you cannot also assume. You, you cannot say that political party will not hold uh, its primary in all the local You cannot say that. It cannot be just. You cannot say that. They will not come to PDP. PDP will say, "Oh, we're not right to end We are holding a primary election on the fifteenth of January." That will take place for the unit. They are not to plan again. I deploy my power. The security majors again will deploy my power to mass such a. The Labour Party will write again. We are having a war on the 13th. This is not taking place in one day. To the time frame given by the, 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 the time expires. Then, a core party will write again. We are holding our own on the 20th. Then, I make will plan again. I will deploy a, a, a map power to monitor such election. So what are we not saying? So that means the, 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 the cost of INEC organizing of monetary social election will increase. But don't forget again that the smaller parties may not have the resources to mobilize members to do that. And there's something Mr. President said that I love so much. He said it will it will lead to it will it will increase financial crime. Now you, it will you, increase you, financial crime that those who are in office because now we need to mobilize more people to vote for you to emerge. There's need for you people to come up particularly to just to make sure that the sort people to vote for them. Now, and in that, in that case, in that case, considering the economy of the country that Nigeria would be
when it comes to finance to run the country because a lot of people will go into corruption, take our money just to ensure that people go for Now, Bishop, that Bishop, 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 now let, let's, let's, let's look at this whole thing one more time. Now, uh, the National Assembly, it's a precise uh, Senate, they are going to be meeting today. And uh, they may just veto the president, just the way the president has vetoed the bill. They may veto the president. But, but there's something that I want us to talk about here. Now, uh, it appears that uh, the National Assembly, to be precise, the, the Senate itself, is not standing as one accord. This morning, uh, I was reading whereby uh, the Senate president, Ahmed Lawa, uh, seems not to be in support with uh, members, you know, of the Senate. Now, if that's, that is the situation, do you see uh, the Senate really going through? Because uh, they are saying that they are going to override the president. But if this is the position now, that the leadership is on one side, the members are on one side, can it be? Let me tell you something. <coughs> and like I told you before, the National Assembly members, they understand Mr. President. They know what they knew from the beginning that when they introduced this clause of the IMO point that Mr. President could never accept it. Because they themselves, they did not agree the introduction of the trouble results in the truth. It did not come up for their mind. So like I tell you that even what Mr. President have done now, most of them, some of them are also happy. Now we're talking about the veto. Like I told you before. Mr. President has the power on session 50 years, session 4. Let me ask my brother as well. Uh, Chief Barrister, Chief Barrister, Barrister Abu Ozzam, the Assembly Group of Power. He said, and I quote, he said, the National Assembly have the power to override Mr. President's uh, veto. They get that power in session 58, subsection 5. Before they do that, subsection they, five, I'm coming, four and five. Uh, before they can do that, mm -hmm. is that they have to make use of section 58, subsection 5 of the Constitution. Four and five. I'm coming now. Yeah, just, let's, 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 I'm coming. Yeah, let's get it. Ah, let, don't, let, get, let me flow now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, I'm coming. I'm quoting somebody. Let me learn. I'm listening. Just go on. Hey, you are just, just you are, are targeting me. Just go on. I said they have section 50, a section 5. So first of all, look at the look at the bill again. Pass the bill again by to third majority. Mm. Then if Mr. President refused to accept it, he said they will not rely on section 4. Section 59 and Section 58 of the Constitution to override this unprecedented veto by to the majority of the National Assembly. That is what Chief Barrister Michael Zephon said on a rise TV. Now, the question is this. Three days ago, the Senate President posited, and I, and I quote, he said, the National Assembly is ready to give Mr. President the maximum support to the end of time. Who said so now? I the said, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President of the Senate. The National Assembly. Okay. Uh, uh, he said, the National Assembly members, he said, they are ready to give Mr. President. Not on this issue. Now, does that, does that mean no, that I'm they, coming now. Oh, not yeah. on this issue. Okay. He said, the National Assembly is ready to give Mr. President. Mm. The support he deserved to the end of time. So, if Mr. President has written, he did not just reject. He did not just say. This. If not on this it, issue, it, then why are you bringing that now? Oh, I mean, let, let's get it straight. You, you, said, you don't get this thing. Yeah. You don't get this thing. Yeah. I said, Mr. The President of the Senate said, and I quote, he said, the national people are calling them never stand. Mm. He said that is not true. He said the, the, the national they remember they are ready to give Mr. President the support he deserved to the end of time. You can't say now, mm. before this issue not came. So what I'm trying to tell you now, wisdom and moral is to tell you that there's nothing Mr. President will do now that they would force. If we see some people saying that they have the power to override Mr. President on this decision, they will not have the two-third majority to do that. Because Mr. President, the President of the Senate have already said, and I said that they are going to, they will be ready to give Mr. President any support.
support he deserves. Anyway, to the end of time. I, I think so, we need to, so, because so, uh, they, so, so, the Senate, they, they are meeting today, so we cannot preempt uh, what they are going to do. So let us not try to explain uh, their position for them. Uh, for us, we wait and see and uh, see what happens so that uh, uh, we let you have your, your say. So, Bishop, uh, uh, let's let, just like what we said, that the Senate is going to be meeting today. So, let us not try to calculate. In as much as we owe our explanations and our analysis, our we are not calculating. We are issues. discussing events. Mm. We are discussing issues. Mm. We are not discussing what we what we what we come out today in the meeting. We are discussing. People are saying that uh, that is what we are discussing. I'm not telling you that my own position. Mm. Just like where they said this bit to Mr. President, and I said. On different table here, mm. I said, Mr. President will not accept to this bill, and I will be discussing the, the clause of the direct primary election if that be even Mr. President declined the assets. Mm. So we are not discussing the, the position of the National Assembly in the state of the country majority to override Mr. President's decision. I'm not telling you that the, the, the National Assembly member that have said they will not override Mr. President veto. Because the Senate President has said that they will give Mr. President the support is not the end of the not even be autocratic here. He said, take this bill. He said, look at look at this clause of the primary. I said that to me for assets. So in as much as we have sentiment in what is happening, there's need for us to look at it very well. I look at the reasons given by Mr. President. If these reasons are tenable, then we look at it. Nobody said Mr. President says he's not going to assert to the bill. He said it to them and accompanied with a letter, he wrote them a letter. Mm. The library today they will read today. And the reason it gave the set up on direct mode of primary election. And those reasons they must they must expunge them from, from the from the bill. No, 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 no. It, 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 it's only one session. It's only one session of eighty-seven. Mm. Which gives political parties the prerogative to the, 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 the primaries to, to choose their candidates yeah. without imposing it. But we have to move the primary election. Mm. You cannot tell a man, just like now you are going to the now, they're not telling you that uh, uh, you stay you take flight or you take room. I saw not tell you that you have money to do that. Say please, please I don't I cannot take flight. Just take a little Anyway, just so like you have to yeah. So free dump the free dump. See what you talking about now is that you are violating the political party free dump to choose of choice. Mm. So that is what the president is talking about. He's talking about the constitution. Anyway, the, the, we, just like what we say that uh, we will keep our fingers crossed and uh, watch uh, the whole thing as it unveils. Uh, so today the Senate is going to be meeting the, the, the House of Representatives uh, will be in recess and uh, we understand that they are going to be reconvening uh, January 12, 2022. So let's wait for uh, the Senate to meet today and of course the outcome of the meeting, uh, we will know at the end of the day whether the Senate is going to open.